Well, here we are, it's the end of July. The water is warm, almost 80 degrees today. Uh, the water is dirty as a result. There's a tremendous algae bloom going on in this lake. And for a lot of people, you know, those conditions mean that walleye fishing is slow. But not if you're using the walleye fisherman's secret weapon, and that's of course the jigging wrap. Now by no means did I invent this presentation. I think that all of us in the walleye world have a tremendous amount to be grateful for when it comes to the Linders, Al and Ron and the rest of their crew, really showing us how powerful the jigging wrap can be in a really a wide variety of open water fishing situations. And in particular, this warm water summer walleye bite. Now I'm not gonna show you anything new about how to use the jigging wrap to catch summer walleyes, but what I am gonna show you is a fun little spin on that classic walleye presentation, and that is to use Humminbird's Mega Live Imaging as a way to find pods of walleyes that you can present that bait to and to follow your jigging wrap as you're snapping it through those fish. It's cool stuff, so stick around. So let me describe kind of in general terms where I'm fishing and how I found this general area that I'm focusing on. Uh, I'm fishing a reservoir today. It's uh, relatively shallow, probably the average depth is probably no more than eight or 10 feet, but it's got, a, it's got the original ri uh, river channel running through it. Uh, that river channel's got the deepest water available. Um, you know, it's probably anywhere from 12 to 16 or maybe 18 feet deep. And a lot of the fish, a lot of the quality fish in this reservoir have pulled into that uh, deep river channel uh, as really their only way to escape the heat. Now, it's a long river channel, and so rather than just fishing it blindly, I identified a basic location, or starting location anyway, using our best available tool uh, for finding fish, and that's, of course, um, Humminbird's Mega Side Imaging. So I found an area with a bunch of fish relating relatively close to the bottom, right? That's the classic thing. Uh, bright white spot against that darker bottom. Here the bottom is really quite dark because it's a real soft bottom. Um, once I found those fish, uh, I basically set up with a drift, right? So I positioned the boat upwind of those fish and have been using the wind to push me slowly through those fish. Now the value of doing that is that I can turn my Ultrex, you know, from side to side and scan the area where I might want to cast. And in doing so, I'm using now Humminbird Mega Live Imaging to look for those fish and see where they are. And of course, a lot of them are bottom oriented. Um, the walleyes are generally in smaller groups. If there's a big cluster, uh, that's probably a school of crappies or perch, and this lake's got great big crappies and great big perch in it, so it wouldn't surprise me to catch some of those as well. Now, as I work that bait back to the boat, right, I can keep my jigging wrap in the beam of the Humminbird Mega Live Imaging System and monitor what's going on with that bait all the time. Now today I've got you know, number nine jigging wrap, this kind of fluorescent pink color, uh, suspended about oh, 18 inches below a swivel. So when we look at the Mega Live Imaging return, you're gonna see two different returns bouncing up and down, right? It's gonna be my jigging wrap at the bottom, the heavy thing, of course, and then the much lighter swivel up above it. Now, the really fun thing is to be able to see fish that I'm snapping around turn on that bait and crush it, right? And, and seeing that happening on live imaging and seeing fish turn into that bait gives me an opportunity to get ready to set the hook, right? And so if I'm, 
if my jigging ramp is sitting on the bottom and I see a fish turn into it, I'm gonna know that fish is there, or have a hopefully really good idea that that fish is there before I feel anything, before I feel that tap. And so I could just load up immediately and drill them and set the hook. Now, by no means do we have ideal water conditions today. Um, the water, obviously, as I said before, is quite warm. It has some suspended sediment in it because we've had a little bit of rain lately. And, you know, the warm water here in July has generated a really tremendous algae bloom. And you can see it here on the surface of the water. It extends down a couple of feet. Um, and you can see the impact of that algae on my mega live imaging view. You can see, you know, a little bit of extra noise near the surface. It extends down a foot or so, but by no means does it impact my ability to use mega live imaging to follow my bait, see fish, and the sea fish attack the lure. I think it just is another testament to the power of mega live imaging to work in really a wide variety of water conditions, not just uh, crystal clear, Great Lakes, anything like that. Uh, mega live imaging works all the time in all sorts of bodies of water in many, many applications.